In this video we're going to take a look at Ubuntu 11.04, the newest version of Ubuntu. To begin with, you're going to notice quite a change from the previous 10.10 .10 version that's out there. And one big difference is the fact that it uses Unity as their desktop application instead of GNOME. And so what you're going to notice here on the left hand side of our list of some of the popular applications that Ubuntu has compiled for us to use with. Starting up here at the top, you'll see the Ubuntu logo. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice that we've got a search option that's going to come up and allow us to search for things. And so I can search for different folders. Let's say music. I can search for quite a few different applications. Let's say additional. There we go, additional drivers will come up. And so we've got a couple different options to find both applications as well as folders just by clicking on the Ubuntu logo up here on the top. Now also we'll notice we've got our home directory, our home folder here that allows us to do some file navigation as well. And so you'll see that this gives us an option here to, to do this. And so now we've got Firefox, which the difference here in Firefox is this is using Firefox 4, which is a little bit different interface from the previous versions of Firefox. And so we've got this application currently open. Also notice that I've got an indicator here for us to work with the applications that are currently open, similar to what you'll find in the Macintosh or the Apple computer operating systems. And so now we've got LibreOffice rather than OpenOffice. And so this is another change that we've got within the operating system. It's, it does use LibreOffice. And so here's my Office Writer as well. You'll notice here I've got the Calc and the Impress as well. The Software Center has also been on the, are located on the menu bar as well. And this gives us our option to find software that we'd like to load onto our operating system if we so choose to. I'll go ahead and close that. Ubuntu 1 has also changed the interface and so it looks slightly different and if you're not using Ubuntu 1 it does give us 2 gigs of free storage that allows us to work with our operating system to get us into the whole cloud computing so this is a couple different options that we've got now they've got a workspace switcher here now if I click this you're going to notice it gives me the option here of moving my applications to different workspaces and so this is quite a bit different than in the past it allows us to work with this and so I can go ahead and click on one of my workspaces and it should open this up for us. I'll double click on that. So we've got this option here to work with. Now if I click here on the Windows key or the Super key, I'm going to list all of these different shortcuts that are available. So if I hold the Windows key or the Super key down and press 1, this will bring us to the home folder. And so this integrates quite well with the Windows key, something different as well with the GNOME uh, that's not in the GNOME operating system by default here. So if I do the window S, it'll go ahead and bring up that switcher again. If I click it, it will go back. And so if I do window W, which is not listed here on the shortcuts, window W will pull up all of our open applications at the same time. So I'll go ahead and click that back here for us to work with. I do have another option here to search for applications. And so if I click this, it gives me an option here to type in and search for the applications itself as well as to find files and folders. Now one thing I did notice when I'm looking for files and folders, it'll find files and folders in your user account but not necessarily within the file system. For instance, if I'm looking for the Vera folder, you'll see that no matches come up with a www. Uh, it will, will not show any of the folders that you've got in here that are part of the file system. And so this is only going to search within the user accounts folders. One more change that you'll notice is that if I click on the volume here, it does have Banshee as our default media player, and it does integrate here with our volume, so this is kind of nice to be able to navigate through your songs uh, using Banshee as our media player. One other thing to notice is that if you do the control alt and press an arrow key, this will give us an option to actually move with our workspaces and change what workspace we want without having to actually open up the workspace switcher itself. And so overall the operating system does have uh, some unique changes to it. It does look like it's integrated or developed more for touch screens. Uh, it will take some getting used to if you're used to the GNOME desktop, but overall it's a good operating system, a good layout.